In this video, I'll teach you how to combine the SUMIF and VLOOKUP functions across two different workbooks in Excel. In one of my previous videos, I showed how you can combine the SUMIF and VLOOKUP functions to look up a value across two different tables. Now, if you haven't watched that video yet, the link to that video is available in the description box of this video. Now, in this video, I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm going to do it when the data is coming from two separate workbooks. That said, without further ado, let's jump right at it. Okay, so here we have the exact same two tables. However, they are now located in two different workbooks. We have a table called Customer ID, which is located in the Customer ID workbook. And we have another table called Customer Names which is located in the customer names workbook. What we want to do is we want to combine the sum if and the VLOOKUP functions in order to be able to get the sum of order amounts based on these two tables. As you can see here, both tables contain a customer ID column. However, as you can see, the table on the right hand side does not have the order amounts. We only have the order amounts on the left hand side table and that's the table that doesn't have the customer names. And we want to do a lookup based on the customer name. So how to do that? In order to do that, we need to use a combination of the sum if and VLOOKUP functions. And in Excel, it's possible to do that across two different workbooks and I'll demonstrate how that's possible right now. So the syntax for the formula is currently displayed on the screen over here. We need to use the sum if formula and I will insert that formula in cell F3 of the customer names workbook. Here's how it goes. We type sum if open parentheses, then we put the range. This range is the customer IDs. So I will select the customer IDs from the customer ID table. Then I will put a comma, and here I have to put the VLOOKUP statement. So I'll do VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and I'll do a lookup from our customer names table. So first of all, the lookup value is this particular customer name, which in this case is Steve Lemmy. So I'll select this particular customer name, then I'll put a comma, next, I have to put in the table array, which in this case is coming from the customer names table. So it's this range over here. And then I have to put in the column index. So I'll put comma and I'll put two, which is the column index in this case, because we want to look up the customer ID based on the customer name. So that's why since the customer ID is located on the second column, we put two and the last argument is comma false and close parentheses. And then I will put another comma. Now we have to put the sum range for the sum if formula. And the sum range is coming from our customer IDs table in this case. And it's this range over here. And now I have to put a closing parentheses and I will click on enter. And there we go. So all the order amounts for this particular customer that is Steve Lemmy have been summed up using this combination of the sum if and VLOOKUP formula. So we're getting 1282. Now let's validate this is actually true. So this is Steve Lemmy. The customer ID for Steve Lemmy is ID 007. So let's sum all the order amounts for ID 007. So here's one of them, and here's another one, and here's the last one. So we have three order IDs for this customer ID, that is ID 007 and the sum is indeed 1282, as you can observe over here. So this is correct. So just to explain again, so what this formula does is that it performs a sum if across two different workbooks. So first, we indicated the sum range, that is the customer ID range, this column over here. Next, we did a lookup in order to identify the criteria for the sum if, so the criteria is coming through this VLOOKUP statement over here. Uh, using this VLOOKUP, we know which ID from this range we are identifying from the other workbook. 
that is from the customer names book. Then the last argument is the sum range, which in this case is the order amounts. And we're able to use a combination of sum if and VLOOKUP to sum the number of order amounts across two different tables and also across two different workbooks. And this is absolutely amazing. And this is completely dynamic and it works across two different workbooks. Now, a few things you need to have in mind when doing this. First of all, ensure the file paths are correct, especially if you move the files or the workbooks after creating this formula. And second thing is that both workbooks have to be open simultaneously for the formulas to update dynamically. So let's uh, test this out. So right now, if I make any changes to the workbook on the left, this workbook on the right, that is the customer names workbook, this formula over here will be updated dynamically. So let's give that a try. For example, let's choose any of the customer IDs related to this particular customer name that is Steve Lemmy. So let's select a customer ID that's equal to ID 007, but from the customer ID table. This is one of them, for example, and let's change this to another number. Let's change it to, for example, $2,000. As you can see, 1200 over here changed and this number was updated dynamically. Now, let's try closing this customer ID table and see what happens. So I'm going to X out. And as you can see, now if I click on this and I click on enter, I'll get a value error. So this only happens if you want to refresh it. If you don't want to refresh it, nothing happens. Now, if I reopen the customer IDs workbook again, as I'm going to do right now, there we go. This formula got updated again. So as long as you don't make any changes to the other workbook, things are going to be OK and the formula is going to work correctly. But if you want the formula to update dynamically, both workbooks need to be opened simultaneously. And that's how it works. And this is a very neat formula to use when you have data that's coming from different workbooks. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. I also have some very exciting news. I'm now offering exclusive one-on-one -on -one appointments through TopMate. This is your chance to have a personalized session with me where we can deep dive into topics related to freelancing, career planning, data analytics, business intelligence, and other topics which are currently displayed on the screen. So whether you're looking for advice or you want to discuss a specific subject or just want to have a chat, I'm here for it. Whether it's mastering a new skill, deep diving into a specific topic or unlocking your full potential, together we can tackle your biggest challenges and map out a path to success. Booking is super easy. Just head over to TopMate by clicking on the link in the description box, find my profile and choose a time that works best for you. We can connect, talk about your goals, and work together to achieve them. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity to get personalized attention and advice tailored just for you. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and helping you on your journey. Spots are limited, so make sure to book your appointment soon and let's make some magic happen together.